one Friday morning, I woke up at a rest area in Connecticut. And that morning, I had lost my house. I had lost my second wife. Uh, I wasn't going to see my third kid. Uh, I was in a car that wasn't mine that I had to have back that day. Uh, and really, I had nothing left but my job. I had not screwed up my job. Everything else I had kind of screwed up. And, you know, I, I, what was I going to do? Um, I had surfed my friend's couches already. I had had my family help me out already. There was nothing left. All I had was my job. And, uh, you know, I had made some mistakes. I, I had been selfish in a lot of ways. So, I end up in Springfield, and there's a big cathedral down there. I'm not the most religious guy, but I, I went in there just because I, I had no other place to go. I'm like literally walking. It's Sunday morning. I walk in. This lady's playing the organ. She has a beautiful voice. I'm in the back row. Completely broke down, started weeping. And at that moment, it kind of came to me that, you know, I've been living my life for me. And I'm not going to live my life for me anymore. I'm going to make my life about other people. And ever since I made that decision in that moment, things got little things to break me. When my wife says, take out the garbage, when I get home tonight, I always say, honey, I was at the gym at 5.30 in the morning. Okay? I've been working until like 9, 10 o'clock every single night. I'm in front of a group of kids from 7 o'clock in the morning until 2 o'clock. Then our kids come off the bus, you know. I make them big. I check their home. You know? By the time I get out, I don't want to take out the garbage. No, just take out the garbage. It's amazing how we let the simplest things break us. Because we're not humble. We're too good to do those things. Don't be too good. Don't let it break. You've always got an attitude problem. So what's an attitude problem? An attitude problem is really caring. Because if you care, your attitude is going to be right. You're going to, you're going to fit into whatever attitude you need to have in order to advance and be successful. That's really what caring gets you. Because you'll know if, if that attitude is getting you away from where you want to be, you don't care that much. If you care, your attitude will be right. If you work harder after a loss, that's probably why you lost in the first place. Right? I, we've all been there. You know, you have that loss, you're, you're mad, you're pissed off, and then you go out the next week and you work your ass off and you have some success. Well, why didn't you do that in the first place? You know, why does it have to take that loss? And especially in a sport like football where you only get like 10 games, you're not playing twice a week, you're not getting 20 games, you don't have the opportunity to make that mistake. You know, so you want to make sure you're practicing at an optimum level all the time. And if you know what, you need that, you need to lose to get fired up so you can give a good effort and win. Well, then you better start playing some games in your head so you can get that type of mentality. Because nobody has the time to make those mistakes. Ever work so hard that people get offended by your effort? They get scared to death and you have to do the same just to compete. Have you ever pissed anybody off because you're trying so hard? Where everybody around you, why, why, are, why are they working so hard? You know, I can't believe this guy's working so hard, putting us through it. You know, work so hard that you make people pissed. You make them angry. You make them realize how little effort they're giving. You know, have some courage to do that. I was never good at a lot of things, but I could run. I could run. And when I went to UNH, I always ran and won the last sprint. That was my thing. You know, we would go and we'd do these jog, run, jog, run. And then we'd go to the last one. And to me, that was the competition. You want to compete now. We have a winner here. And this isn't jog sprint, this is running, sprinting. And we would go full field, and I would go and I would kill it, over and over again. Senior year was a little tougher for me, I'd put on a little bit extra weight, but when I was younger, I would go ahead and do that. You know, and they would be in my ear, why are you doing that? You make us all look bad, blah, blah, blah. And that's who you. You know, this, I'm giving my effort. I'm keeping up with you guys who are doing that other stuff. Here's the last one. You don't like to catch up to me. You know, make me look bad. So, you know, you want to be friends, or you want to be good? You're going to have to make that decision sometimes. And you know what? If you end up good, usually people want to be friends with you. It's weird the way it works out. Your potential will stalk you until you truly challenge yourself to feed your best effort. And I firmly believe that. You know, academically, athletically, I don't care what it is. It's always going to be a voice in the back of your head saying, you know, you're doing better. You're going to get more effort. You know, you're not challenging yourself in your major. You know, if you're settling in a relationship and you probably be with somebody who maybe has a little more character and a little more gifts and would be a better partner for you. Yeah, this is going to happen to you the rest of your life. So don't sell. Work to your potential. Achieve your potential because it's always going to be there. And people go to great lengths to drown that voice out. You know, they turn to bad things. 
to distract themselves. And you don't want to be in that situation. And sometimes you give it your all and sometimes you don't, you're just average. Because average people can't produce consistent effort. Oh, they're a great first quarter team. They're a great third quarter team. Well, what happens in the second quarter and the fourth quarter? Or they're a really great second half team. Well, why aren't they doing well in the first half? All right, what's their record at the end of the year? Are they seven and seven? Are they five and five? That's what happens because this is what we do. The, the get better guy and the get by guy, they battle. And if the get better guy wins some and the get by guy wins some, we're average because that's what everybody does. You know, there's not a whole lot of people who go, I want to get by 24-7. And there's certainly not a lot of people who say they want to get better 24-7. So you know what? Do a little effort here, not so much there. We end up average. That's what average people do.